Okay, <clears throat> we just defined specific volume. Did anybody notice that specific volume, volume divided by mass, was the reciprocal of density? So these are reciprocals of each other. Uh, in general, all my other classes, I don't know about y'all, but all my other classes, we talk density, 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 right? We talk about density, uh, we'll call it rho is mass divided by volume. In this class, though, we are going to be using a specific volume a lot more than density. So specific volume is volume divided by mass. And so <clears throat> in some equations, if you need specific volume and you know density, then it, you know it, it's one over the other, or V is one over rho. They're reciprocals of each other. So whatever you need, you know, if you need density and you're given specific volume, it, just take the reciprocal. Right, take the reciprocal. Now, specific gravity or relative density is the density relative to water at room temperature. So the specific gravity, it might say, hey, this mercury has specific gravity of 13.6. That means it is 13.6 times more dense than water at room temperature. So uh, specific gravity is the density of what you are interested in or, or whatever material divided by the density of water, or maybe we'll do it this way, the density of a material is its specific gravity times the density of water at room temperature. Maybe box that in. That one is more useful. The density of something is specific gravity times the density of water. So specific gravities that are greater than one are more dense. Specific gravities that are less than one are less dense, right? These would sink, these would float. <clears throat> okay, so this right here, density is specific gravity times the density of water. 